Hey guys, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. I am so excited because we have a new concealer to test out. So this is the new Huda Beauty hashtag faux filter concealer. So you guys know the drill. I have under eye darkness, bags, wrinkles, the whole nine. And I know that a lot of y'all like watching my concealer reviews because we have similar under eye concerns. So I do already have the concealer on. I'm gonna take you guys back. I'll let you know if I ran into any issues with blending it out. I'll give you guys my first impression on the concealer and then of course we're going to do a wear test we'll see how it wears on me throughout the day and then at the end of the video i will let y'all know if this is something that i think y'all should check out so let's jump right into it Okay, so we're going to be playing around with the shade 6.7R Peanut Butter. So first, let me show you the applicator. I like this. I like the size of it because it looks like it'll pick up a whole lot of product. So let's start off with a swatch. And this looks like it'll be a really good shade for me for under eye concealer. Maybe I could use something just a little bit lighter so that it also gives me a brightening effect. But I think it'll be a really good shade. So let's zoom in and let's get started with applying it to the under eye now if you're new here when I do a full face of makeup I usually put on color corrector underneath my concealer but I don't do that when I'm testing a concealer for the first time I want to see how it operates on its own without the assistance of a color corrector so the only thing that I have on my under eye area for right now is my skincare and I did already apply my foundation but I blended it around the under eye area so I don't have any foundation right here so I'm gonna start off with just the amount that picks up on the applicator when you take it out of the tube and I'm gonna apply just this much I don't know what the coverage level is supposed to be just yet I'm assuming it's a full coverage but this is gonna be a really nice a nice shade for me so this is the brush that I always blend out my under eye concealer with this is the rare beauty foundation brush and I like to blend it out just by patting it in place as much as I can that prevents me from moving the concealer around too much and I always drag it up on the side of my nose because of my glasses marks and then I'll just like blend out the rest I'll go over and down just a little bit okay so what do you guys think so far about the coverage level I actually think that's an okay coverage level I didn't even apply every single bit of concealer that came out on the applicator so so far I love the coverage I love the way it blended out it blended out really fast and it looks like it's giving me kind of like a natural finish um, I do know just from seeing it somewhere that it's supposed to be a luminous matte finish and I always kind of get confused with what luminous matte is but um I don't think that I see a matte finish. I don't think I see luminous either. I think I just see like a natural finish for right now. So let me put on just one more layer. Let's see how it builds up. But so far, so good. And I'm hoping you guys can see, you might not be able to make out, but there is still a good amount of product on the applicator. It's kind of like soaked in, but there is still a good amount. So this applicator picks up a good amount of product. And I'm just gonna blend out the second layer the same way that I did the first one. I'm patting it in to keep most of the product concentrated like right where I want most of the coverage to go. And I try my best to avoid those little lines like right under my lower lash line. I always get product in there, but I do try to avoid them as much as possible. And then just like I did the first time, I'm gonna take the residual and drag it down and out. When I'm putting the concealer on like over here, I'm really just doing it to kind of like clean up the eyeshadow and just add a little bit of brightness, but I don't necessarily need coverage over here. I'm concentrating the coverage right here. Okay, so let me know what y'all are thinking so far. I really like it so far. I do wish it was a little bit, just like a tiny bit brighter because I would probably go on top of this, maybe right in the center with another concealer that's just a little bit lighter than this. But this is really good for me for like everyday looks because it's giving me really good coverage and it doesn't look like too brightening. So when I do my whole face, it's not gonna be, um, I guess like overly bright in this area. It'll still look really nice and natural. So I really like this concealer. So so far my favorite concealer right now is the Anastasia concealer 
I love the way this one blends out and I love the shade of this on me. So this one has a reddish undertone to it. This Anastasia one has more of like a pinkish undertone. So this one just looks a little bit better on me. However, the Huda concealer, this one is giving me more coverage than the Anastasia one. In terms of how they blend out, they pretty much blend out the same. Like they blend out really, really easily. But this is giving me better coverage than the Anastasia one. So I'm liking it so far. So let me know what y'all what are y'all thinking? What are your first impressions? I'm going to put some concealer on the other under eye as well as the rest of the center of my face while I give you guys some information about the product. Okay, so this product has a really long name. It's the Huda Beauty Hashtag Faux Filter Luminous Matte Buildable Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. That is a handful, but all of that pretty much explains what type of concealer this is. It's supposed to be a buildable creamy formula that can flex from medium to full coverage while it visibly brightens and conceals. It's fragrance free, thank God, long wearing, crease proof, and made to move with you. It's a full coverage, it's buildable to full coverage and a matte finish. The highlighted ingredients are vitamin E and sweet almond oil, which condition and care for the delicate skin under the eye. This comes in 29 shades, and again, I'm testing out the shade 6.7R Peanut Butter, and that is for tan skin tones with a red undertone, and it also retails for $29. Okay, so this is what the concealer looks like all blended out. I'm sure you guys can see that on the forehead and the chin, or I should say you can't really see the concealer because of the shade of it. So um, actually, let me just put a little bit more concealer up there just to see if we can build it up because like I said the shade of it it could be just a little bit brighter for me but that's why it's basically just like disappearing on my forehead because it is relatively close to my skin tone yeah I really can't see it on the forehead but that's fine I do think it looks really good on the under eye area if it was just a tad bit lighter that would be better but I do think it looks really nice so let me hurry up and set the concealer in place. I'm going to take my brush one more time and I'm just going to pat right back over the concealer just because on this eye especially it's been sitting for a minute so I'm just going to flatten it out one more time. And then I'm going to go ahead and set it. I'm using my Kosas Cloud Set Powder. This is the one that I always use to set my under eyes. And I'm setting just the immediate under eye area. I guess something else that I could do is maybe get another, maybe like a brighter powder to set this concealer. And that will also add a little bit of brightness. But I like using this one because I like to stay consistent with using the same powder when I'm testing out complexion products. So let me know what you guys think. So my first impression, I really like this. I feel like if it were the same shade as the Anastasia concealer, so far it would probably be like my new go-to concealer. Let me know if you guys are interested in a side-by-side -side comparison of these two concealers. However, there are some differences that I already know. This one I do think is giving me more coverage with less product compared to the Anastasia one. So, so far so good. Like I like the way it blended out. I like the coverage that I'm getting. Um, I don't notice anything um, weird with how it's sitting on the face or anything like that. So my first impression, I really, really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup off camera and then we will start our wear test. Okay guys, here is my makeup for today. So I think this might be like the third time in a row that I have worn this lip combo. So I hope y'all don't get tired of seeing the same thing over and over again, but I can't stop wearing this. So um, I have on the Lawless Beauty lip liner in the shade Coco along with the NYX. This is Milk gloss in the shade Choco Latte Shake and I just have been wearing this combo like crazy but everything that I have on today will be listed in the description box so as I am looking at my face I love the way that the concealer is wearing on the skin so far like no complaints so far so good I do wish that the shade though was a little bit brighter because I do feel like my under eye area looks pretty much the same as the rest of my face I am really tempted to put on a brightening powder just something a little bit lighter than my Kosas powder but I don't want to do that because like I said earlier I like to stay consistent with um, the setting powder that I use to test out concealer so I don't want to mess around and you like use something else I just 
just want to stick with what I know um, to see how the concealer wears with it. So we're just going to keep it like this for today because like I said, it's wearing very well. I just wish that the shade was just a little bit brighter. So I also wanted to show you guys the swatch here because I forgot to wipe it off. So this is supposed to have a luminous matte finish to it. And I feel like I'm seeing a little bit more luminosity than I am matte. And I think overall it does look more of like a natural finish on the swatch and on my under eye. To me it just looks more natural than luminous matte. Maybe luminous matte combined just make a natural finish. But yeah, I don't I don't really see too much of a matte finish. But let me know what you guys are thinking. So first impression so far so good. But of course the real test is going to be how it wears on the under eye. So I'm going to start the wear test now. And I'll be checking in a couple times throughout the day. I'm not sure how long I'm going to wear it. But it'll be at least for a few hours and then at the end of the video I will let you guys know if I think you guys should try out this new Huda Beauty concealer. So it's a little before two o'clock in the afternoon so we're going to start now and I will see you guys a little bit later on. Okay it's a little after five o'clock so we're three hours in so this is what the under eyes look like. Let me know what y'all are thinking. I think that we're doing very well so far. So I don't see any creasing or anything. Um, now, if you guys have lines under your eyes like I do, just remember that everything is going to look like it's creasing on those lines because it's just going to kind of like fall into the fold of the lines on your skin if that makes sense so that doesn't mean that the concealer is creasing that means that um the concealer is just laying on your skin and your skin has a fold right there so i hope that makes sense so whenever i'm looking to see if a concealer is creasing i'm looking like further down where the product is laying like on a flat surface if that makes sense and it's laying very well so i am in front of a window so that you guys can see the natural lighting shot um i can see like a little bit of the shadow picking up but you guys can pretty much make out what i'm seeing so i think that the concealer is wearing very very nicely so let me know what y'all are thinking i will check back in in a couple hours and we'll see what we're looking like okay you guys we're gonna do another quick check-in so it is a little after 7 30 so we're about an hour and a half after the first check-in and this is what we are looking like i wanted to give you guys another check-in in different lighting so we're back in the filming lighting so let me know what y'all are thinking i think we're looking pretty good now if i look really really close up i can see like some very very minimal creasing and i mean minimal to the point where I don't think that y'all can see it on camera. So whenever um, you know, you're know you testing out makeup on yourself, you're gonna notice things that other people may not when they're looking at you from you know a normal distance. But I see some like ever so slight creasing, but nothing crazy. Like my Anastasia concealer does that too. And I wear this thing like literally every day. So, so far, I think we're still doing pretty good. Let me know what y'all are thinking. I'm gonna try to stretch this out till about 10 o'clock. So I will see y'all in about three or so hours and then we will wrap it up. Okay. Okay guys, we're back for the final check-in. So it's a little after 9.30. So that puts us at about two hours after the last check-in. And this is what we are looking like. So let me know what you guys are thinking. So I was gonna try to stretch this out till 10 o'clock, but I'm just gonna go ahead and end it now. It's almost 10 o'clock anyway, but I do feel like the concealer has kind of worn down a little bit in the past couple of hours and it's just gonna keep getting worse as the night goes on. So um, I think it was the 7.30 check-in that I said that I noticed some minimal creasing going on. And unfortunately, I do see a little bit more creasing that has happened in the past couple of hours. So even though I noticed more creasing, I do feel like it's minimal enough to where I would feel comfortable with wearing this out. I think if someone were sitting across from me, they still wouldn't really notice it. Like it's just more noticeable to me because I'm, you know, looking up close and testing out the concealer. But I do think that it is creasing as time goes on on but it's it's still overall you know quite minimal I also think that my under eye area is starting to look just a little bit dry now part of that is because the rest of my face is shiny because I do have oily skin but the skin under my eye is always um, drier than the rest of my face so I've always felt like when the rest of my face starts to get oily it inadvertently makes my under eye area just look a little bit drier but today I guess maybe it's because I'm, I'm really noticing the creasing but it just feels like it looks like my under eye 
I need just a little like um, moisture or hydration right now. So definitely not like the best concealer wear test that I've had, but definitely not the worst either. So I think my final thoughts on this new Huda Beauty concealer for those of you who have similar under eye issues as me. If you've tried the Anastasia concealer and you really like this one, I would say just stick with this one over the Huda concealer. My other favorites are Too Faced Born This Way and uh, Rose Ink. And I don't care for this one as much as I do the other ones that I just mentioned. So this one definitely is not horrible. It's just not going to be like as good as any of my go-to concealers. So those are my final thoughts on this new concealer. If you've already tried this, let us know how you made out in the comments. I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel before you head out and I will see y'all back here for my next one. Until then, take care. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.